Hi guys, it's Aga from Arvis Artists and today I show you how to model a plant. We'll be using the GrowFX plugin by Xlevel. We learned it about 4 years ago and we use it regularly. Now, if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. It's affiliate link, so if you buy the plugin from this link, we'll earn a commission, which will help us to grow this channel. I will really appreciate this. It's worth having even if you don't model plants or trees, because you can buy GrowFX models and you can edit them. So we can, for example, create different variations of the same plant. This way, your render will be more realistic, because each tree will be different. We'll divide this tutorial into three lessons, because it's pretty long. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue this topic. Let's start from the first part. Let's start by creating a new GrowFX object. We'll be using the newest version, which has a new node editor. This is a huge update. I love this. It's way easier to understand how the plant is made. I used to work in Grasshopper for Rhino, so I'm familiar with node editors. I'm sure you'll get it too. Here we can control the size of the icon. Next, open the node editor. First, we have to create a distributor. Right-click on the canvas and choose the distributor. Then we'll create a path. Drag a line from the bottom of the distributor and choose a path. Here we can control the length of the path. To create a mesh, drag a line from the bottom of the path and choose a type of mesh. We don't need a mesh for this path, so I'll delete it. I'll explain to you the distributor node. Here, we can set up the number of paths. Here, we can change the band angle. We can also add some variability to this option here. We are able to change the offset from the center. Here also we can add some variability. Further down we can control bending in different axes. Here we can change the color of the path. And here we can turn the visibility of the path on and off. If we turn it off, the node is still active. It's just invisible. To deactivate it, we have to click here.
Let me reset everything and let's go back to plant creation. I'll use some brighter color so we can see it better. We'll use the first path to distribute the next level of paths. To do so, drag a line from the left, use the path distributor. This node is similar to the normal distributor we used before. We can create the path using the same methods. Here we can change the number of paths which are growing from the same point. As with almost any option, here we can add some variations. We can choose between circular and angular distribution types. In this case, we have to use circular. I show you how the other options affect the model. Let's have a look. Let me reset everything. Now, if you have an idea on how everything works, we can start building the plant. We have to make the first path really small, as it won't be visible. We just need it as a distributor. Let's increase the density. Here we can specify the start and the end position. Let's increase the length of the path. I create a mesh to show you how steps are working. It's a distance between edges. Twenty millimeter is fine. I 
I add a chaos to the count. and to the bend angle. Then let's add an offset with some randomization and play around with other angles. Create a mesh, like we did before, but this time use a leaf type. Here we can switch the preview from lines to meshes. Change the width of the leaves to 10 mm. As you can see, the leaves are bent too much. Let's fix it. There are two settings we have to change. First is Angle Across option. The other is called the same actually. To achieve the look of a leaf, we have to add a graph to the width parameter. Use curves as a factor option. It means that the width will be multiplied by the factor. You can control the width of the leaves across the length of the path by changing the curve graph.
we can add graphs to the other option too. I change the width back to 10 millimeters. Let's go back to the lines preview. That's it for this part. Make sure you save this file so we can continue working on this when the second part is live. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue making videos about graphics. That's it. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.